Namaste, kings and queens. Thank you so much for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a presence, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I'm sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity, also health and wealth. This is going to be a quick daily reading for the collective. Let's go ahead and see where's the energy and how you all are feeling, what's going on with you and your love. If you are new, welcome. I'm Intuitive Flow. If you're returning, welcome back, spiritual family. Make sure you like the video and subscribe if you resonate. And definitely hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a beautiful reading. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles and we have the Nine of Wands with the Will of Fortune and the Hangman. Split the deck, we have the Emperor. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. The Emperor is here. All right. Um, Page of Pentacles, starting something new, starting from the the bottom is what I'm hearing. Starting from the bottom now, I'm here, okay? Now, starting from the bottom is not always easy, collective. No, it is not. We have the nine of wands. So you're going to get a little frustration on this journey. You're gonna get a little agitated. Um, you're gonna just feel like, fuck, like, why me? Why is this happening to me? Um, when you should not feel like that when things you know transpire in your life that maybe weren't a part of your plan there things are not happening to you they're happening for you hence the will of fortune okay everything is working out for your good for your highest good okay and the highest good of all we have the hanged man okay Seeming how you're starting from the bottom, seemingly, okay? It can seem like because it's the page, all right? But this could be great news, a great opportunity to finally do something that you've always wanted to do. This could be even in regards to um, a brand new relationship, a brand new job, a brand new career venture, a brand new location, whatever it may be. Something could have definitely transpired to put you in this page energy. Now it's like you're a kid again. I'm a kid again. I feel like 13, but I need. Okay. And that's not always a bad thing. So I think, I believe with the hanged man, you're coming into the realization like, hey, wait a minute. I can do something in this energy. I can do something with this fresh, vibrant um, frequency that I'm now on. Now, if this is pertaining to a relationship, I feel like, I'm sorry, I have to say it, it's all in divine timing. You had to go through a lot of bullshit, a lot of frogs, a lot of thoughts, um, you know, a lot of, you know, heavy burden to finally get to what and who you truly want. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Yes. So whatever it is that you're starting, okay, it's going to take some time, okay? I'm hearing here slow and steady okay slow and steady wins the race okay all in divine timing everything is working out everything is in divine order okay you're planting the seed now you're working the seed now you're getting shit you know in order now this could just be speaking in general again if this is love this could be a new commitment being brewed up this could be a new commitment starting off but i feel like if this is a new connection you guys are both on the same page in regards to the pace of the relationship it's flourishing okay look at all this greenery in this energy okay look at all this this energy is amazing i mean <laughs> i just keep hearing that i feel like 13 but i need see there we go with that three of swords that three of swords there's that heartbreak there's that betrayal okay and this betrayal doesn't always have to pertain to a love um in regards to love um a romantic love this could even be family okay this could be a friend but whatever it is you persevere through it and it's like you're getting a new fresh start 
to do it all over again, to do it how you want it, to love how you want to love, to be loved how you want to be loved, okay? We have the temperance here, beautiful energy with the will of fortune. And I love when major arcanas, clarify major arcanas, come through holy divine spirit. Like this energy is just divine. Look at the angel wings, okay? As above, so below. I feel like gaining um, a higher perspective um, looking at the external allows you to gain a higher perspective internally as well, you know, because things can be going haywire on the outside and on the inside, you're keeping a peace. Vice versa, things could be going haywire on the inside, but on the outside, you're seeming like um, things are all good. When it's like, no, the energies needs to match. If internally you're not feeling good, you need to express that. You need to let that out. Do not let that be bottled in, but do it with an even temper, do it with tact, do it with honor and integrity. Okay. And an energy of patience and understanding. Okay. Now I also see somebody trying to circle back around to you collective, but, mm, Look, we have the King of Pentacles, uh, divine fucking timing. We go from the page to the knight to the king. What come the fuck through? I just love this. And again, some of you guys have been knocked off your square. Or you feel like you've been knocked off your square, but I, I, I don't know why I'm hearing. And if they hate, then let them hate and watch the money pile up. Because to somebody they may feel like your downfall or what seems like a downfall is amusing. But to you, it's like, okay, that shit funny. I don't have shit to prove to nobody. All I have to do is be my best version of myself every fucking day. Nobody fucking matters. And when you keep that mindset, that mindset and that perspective, that's when you get to it. That's when you get to it, you know? This could, this could be in regards to love too, but I'm just getting just in general. All right, let's clarify this temperance. Justice. Oh, three major arcana, y'all. Back to back. Ar major arcana being clarified by major arcana being clarified by major arcana, man. Like justice is fucking served. Everything is balancing itself out. Life is balancing itself out. It's the life of duality. It's the light and it's the dark. As above, so below. You need that polarity. You need that good and bad. Okay? You need that happy and sad. Okay? You need that, that you know, that turbulence sometimes to shake shit up. Because when shit gets shooken up, you start opening your eyes like, oh shit, wait a minute. Wait the fuck a minute. I've been doing it all wrong. Or I need to do this another way. Or I need to switch shit up. Or I'm not doing that again. It's like you're just like shit is just clicking for you, right? Like, and that is the justice. The justice is in learning the fucking lesson. What's this three of swords? Seven of Wands, yeah, you're moving forward. You're blocking all the bullshit out. You're blocking all the negative shit out. Whoever this person is that's trying to circle back around to you like they always do, okay? The same motherfucker that want to uh, whisper sweet nothings in your ear is the same motherfucker that make you shed tears. No, you got to go. No. And I also feel like you have warriors that's backing up your decision to finally walk away from this person or this place or this thing. It's like, no, you cannot penetrate me. You cannot. All this energy trying to come in, but source is blocking this. God is blocking you from this heartbreak. Okay. And I'm being guided to tell you, do not let this person place or thing back in. I don't care what it is. No, you got to go. We're moving forward. We're moving forward over here. What is this? Will of Fortune. Queen of Swords. Yeah. And I feel like the moving forward is so, it's like so effortlessly. Okay. With ease, with logic. Again, being very tactful. The sword is down. You're very peaceful. Okay. I'm hearing justice of the peace. Okay. And it's like, even again, even if you are, let's say, feeling a bit agitated, nine of wands, irritated, defeated, 
um, feeling like you want to give up. These are things that need to be expressed. Do not let things bottle up, collect it. I'm telling you, write it out if you have to. If you feel like you don't have anybody to talk to, write that shit out. But do not let that shit fester in you. We on a, I'm on a new level. That's what I just heard. We on a new level. We have to go higher. We cannot remain stuck. No matter how hard the devil or the enemy or the forces um, of the enemy try to weigh you down, we have to push through. And it's very evident that slow moving energy is way more effective. We have some wands here, but I feel like the wands are in regards to the, the passion, but the pinnacles are in regards to the plan to get to the passion. Okay. What is this? Uh, hangman, 10 of cups, <laughs> man, I just like start, start shaking right now. Like, <laughs> beautiful this is what it's all about when you gain that enlightenment and when you gain that sense of identity self-identity it's like i don't care if you don't see things the way i see it it's not your vision to see you know where you're going collective please keep that in mind please because there's a happy fucking ending here for you and all parties involved, for you and all genuine parties involved. And whoever is not genuine in your party, they will fall the fuck off. I don't care how it happens. They out of here. God will not allow them to stick around if their best, if your best interest is not at heart. Period. They got to go. What is this nine of wands? Be here fine. And you're committed to pushing forward. I want you to be committed to pushing forward. If you feel like giving up the hair font, this is God. I just said, God is not going to allow anyone or anything in your circle or around you in your midst or your orbit that doesn't have your best interest at heart too long. They got to go. This is God's source energy. The hair font, like stay committed, stay the course here. No matter what, I know it gets hard. Collective promise. I promise you, I know it gets hard. But you gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. Y'all know that's my song. Life only gets harder, but you gotta get stronger. This is for my brother. I do this for my little son. You gotta keep going. Ooh, let me keep let me keep going. What is this? Um, the night of the King of Pentacles, the Moon. Again, this is God lifting the veil over everything that you need to know in order to keep moving forward and keep prospering to this abundant energy. This abundant energy and abundance for you could be anything. It's different for everybody, right? But with the moon card here, there were some secrets. There were some things being hidden behind the veil. I also feel like either a Cancer or a Pisces was very much involved in this. Doesn't have to be. But I just feel like there were some type of illusions circling around your energy. What is this moon card? The Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups. I definitely do feel like your intuition was tested here collective and i feel like even if you feel like you you failed or you didn't pass god is saying job well done job well done because at the end of the day if someone feels like they are getting over on getting over on you or pulling a wool over your eye or felt like you know they got a one up in all reality the shit is going to fucking backfire because you're a beautiful human being full of love light compassion understanding well-being emotional stability okay this is a knight of pentacles ace of wands and that momentum picks up the momentum's going to pick up that's what i'm saying uh, people always take the page and the night like mm -mm -mm, but those are the seeds the seeds once you plant the seed God is going to be sure that the fire and the momentum under that seed you planted keeps 
going. You have to stay committed. Here font card, do not give up. I'm 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 telling you. And it's like that's when it's like really, really hard. Like you want to give up so bad. And it's in those moments when you want to give up is when you should not give up. That's when you don't give up. Right? Let's clarify this page of pentacles and then um we'll get some advice or some overall energy because Holy Spirit is coming through with the advice. I don't know who this is for, but I hope this is helping and I love you. What is this? Three of Cups. Three of Cups. And that's that genuine energy that I said that, you know, God wants to make sure is in your your vicinity, in your orbit. People who are pouring into you. People who are believing in you. Okay? At the end of the day, once... Ooh, I'm sorry. I'm getting passionate. Once people see that you believe in yourself and that you love yourself and you know where you're going, you have a, a clear head on your shoulders. Let me get this right. Let me get this right. People are going to bask in your vision. People are going to bask in your vision and not just anybody. These are going to be people God specifically, specifically placed in your life. And you're going to know. You're going to know when they are God sent. It's going to be like the, the, the gates of heaven, heaven opened up. It's going to feel like, like, man, I'm telling you, like the angels are just, just right by your side. Like the angels are here to serve justice and to assist you in getting justice for your life, taking your life back, bringing whatever vision and whatever love and whatever service, whatever, whatever it is that you're trying to bring into prosperity, you are very well assisted. Okay, you got to keep going. Give me the overall energy here. Ace of Swords, man, listen to me when I'm talking. This is clarity. This is vision. This is a clear mindset, okay? This is truth being told. This is truth being handed to you, an opportunity to really shed light on things that, again, may have been hidden from you. The lovers. I'm just hearing true love is so hard to find. And it's right between your lips and mine. And mine before I let go. Some of you guys are going to get a truth is going to be revealed in regards to a Gemini here. Okay, some of you guys could be reconnecting with the Gemini. Yeah, we have the Two of Cups. We have the Two of Cups. And we have the Four of Swords here. Yeah. Overall energy collective. Okay. Wow. With the Death card. Transformation. Ultimate transformation. Okay. This is such a Scorpion card. It's like, don't get it twisted. I got the sword. I'm, 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 I'm so sharp. But I'm still soft as a bird. Like, it's like, that is your energy. Or that's the energy you're coming into. It's like, I'm not a killer, but don't push me, right? Um, in regards to this Ace of Swords and the Lovers, I do feel like there's some type of truth being revealed. There's going to be some clarity around a solid connection here. I do also feel like there's an ending in a connection, okay? There's a need to step back and let bygones be bygones or let whatever may be, may be, K Sarah Sarah as well, okay? Um, this energy is very like the way they're looking in each other's eyes, but this always takes me for a loop. I'm still learning these cards. I feel, I feel like this is a serpent here. I just want to know what's really holding this connection. I feel like that's going to be revealed here with the Ace of Swords and the Two of Cups. I 
but I really do feel like there's a divine connection coming in and a realization that we like we belong together you and this person are like a really great match oh you, you guys can't even see like the way the hands are coming together here but I do have to say um whoever this is you're connecting with they have to understand your path and your vision in order for the relationship to sustain its power um if this person goes against the grain in any way they gotta go too I'm just saying so i'm gonna leave it there collective i hope this helps like the video and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one tribe ashe that's a new one tribe well y'all my soul tribe my soul family my spiritual family all that because we go on the same way that way that way that way bye y'all